Hello, my name is Yejun Hong. I'm a medical student at the University of Calgary, and we are here to explain navigation training level one. So uh, first bring everything into view and an appropriate magnification. So it's easier um, to shade the uh, sphere screen. And you can see that all these spheres are arranged in a spiral pattern. However, you do not have to adhere to this pattern. In fact, um, I am shading all the spheres that are closer uh, to the side of my instrument. So starting from the right, all the way to the left. So that way, I don't accidentally move my tip over um, a sphere I didn't intend to shade and uh, get points taken off. So a uh, very simple uh, maneuver here. Uh, the, the only difficulty would be the sheer number uh, of spheres so that if you make a mistake, uh, you want to start over if you want to get 100. Yeah, and there we have it. See, now here's another example um, of uh, shading the spheres. So intracapsular navigation is a very interesting and a fun um, task and also a very important skill to have uh, to uh, precisely uh, get target the ball and stay within it until uh, you reach you reach the desired effect in the in the object within the posterior capsule. Uh, as you can see, I'm I'm uh, being very careful, not afraid to take my time, and I'm shading each each sphere so that it turns entirely green and only then uh, will I uh, get the tip out of each sphere and that's the last sphere uh, there we go the spir spiral pattern is completely um, gone but I scored 100 on both tasks so thank you for watching please like and subscribe for more videos